Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray, I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon and we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's Morirense and they take on Maritimo. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set, now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's added goals to his wizardry. Will he get another goal today, a brace in his last match? This is how it looks for the home side. An element of caution about this selection. Yeah, 4-5-1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Lots of very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. The back four will be protected throughout the game. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Lazar Rosic. Swash. Rosic now. Pires. Pacheco. Fabio Pacheco. Very comfortable when in possession. Pacheco. No high quality defending. Take it away. Suarez. Felipe Pires. Dalberto. It's opening up for them. Looks promising this. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. The opening goal of the game, then. Jetterson. Jean. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Couldn't keep it. Rodrigo Pino. Jean. Pino now. High quality defending. Well, they've lost the ball. Alex Suarez. 
A chance to whip it in. An attack full of promise. Really good challenge. Is this the moment? Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Shaw. Rodrigo Pino. Jean. Zainadine. Pino now. A good and fair challenge. Pires. Pacheco. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Chance here. Well, the timing of the pass, that little bit off. Jetterson. Over the touchline for a throw in. Pires. Suarez. Dalberto. Pacheco. Alex Suarez. Abreu. And on the ball, Pedro Nuno. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Jetterson. Jean. Jorge Correa. Santos. Pino now. Jetterson. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Abreu. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Might be able to produce from this position. A oh, terrific pass. The end product just wasn't there. Jean. Jorge Correa. So a throw in here. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Philippe Suarez. And on the ball, Pedro Nuno. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Intercepting it intelligently. Counter-attacking very much an option. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Joel Tagueu. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Tagueu. And continues his run. 
Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Swarsh. And very deftly cut out. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Zainadine. Tagieu. Jean. Just looking for the right moment for that final putt. And attempting the through ball. What late excitement. And the match is a level. Well, here it is again, and what a team effort this is. Pass, pass, pass. We love to see goals like this. In the end, there's nothing the defence can do about it. Brilliant, wonderful goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Lazar Rosic, Fabio Abreu. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Pacheco. Alex Swarsh. Swarsh. And the pass could do damage. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. This looks promising. It might be on for them. Must be. This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now... They're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, here's the replay with the clock ticking down. Has he won the game for his team? Cool, calm and collected. He deserves that. Brilliant finish. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, 2-1 it is here. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome, Lee. Well, it just shows you, Derek, my dad was right all those years ago. He said, Lee, play to the very end of every game, you never know. And there it is, the late winner to grab all three points. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he did have a good performance, didn't he? But it's all about snatching that late goal to grab the win.